I killed her. Yes, we have to call for an ambulance. No one will call anybody. I won't go to prison because of you. Valya, I'm not talking about you. Give me my phone. There's no point in calling an ambulance. We can't help her. She's dead. Mom, be honest and tell me that it wasn't you who put the hotel on fire. Laura... You know, you almost killed your daughter, but what's worse is that you almost killed your unborn grandchild. Laura, what are you talking about? I'm sick and tired of everyone lying to me, especially if it's coming from you. I am you. not lying to you. Do you really think I'm such an idiot? Tell me the truth right now. Yes, I did it. Is that what you want to know? Now you know. I instructed Helena to cause the gas leak in the kitchen. So it's true. Mother? What mother? What mother? I have a bunch of problems in my head. I was confused. I didn't know what to do. And I had no one to help me. Even you left me. That's why I decided to take action to solve my problems. Could you be? What are you doing here? I was just worried about you. With what happened to the Rishiks, their hotel seemed functional and in order, but look what happened to them. I'm just here to check the electricity. I've I've already checked all the gas faucets. Ritz, give me the keys. I don't want you wandering around here. Good night. Thanks for your concern, but you have to go. Zena, listen to me. I'm really serious this time around. I want to make it up to you. You are my wife. And I love you. This is my house too. I don't want to go anywhere. I want to be with you. <laughs> Let's just call the police. We will tell the entire truth. She was blackmailing you and I just I tried to defend you, but it was just an accident. They won't believe us. There are two of us while she was alone. There are no witnesses. We are husband and wife. Suri, she is dead and we are alive. But it's her knife and we... Your fingerprints are on the knife. As a matter of fact, you had the motive. Everyone knew your father owed her money. Do you want to be imprisoned for murder? No, of course not. I didn't mean to do it. Calm down, okay? We have to decide what to do with the body. We have to get rid of her. And the sooner we disappear from this place, the better. Hey, you know the woods. Like the back of your hand, so you better think of a place where we can bury the body. We live differently, you and I, but I'm changed now. When I was alone, apart from being lonely, I had to do all the man's work around here. Bring in the water, or even carry heavy beer boxes. Please, my love, don't do that anymore. I will do that for you. I'm not finished. Don't interrupt me. It was difficult, but suddenly I realized that I didn't have to take care of anybody other than myself anymore. I don't have to worry anymore whether you're drunk or sober. I do not have to solve your problems or worry about how to pay all your debts from your gambling. I realized I'm better off alone. Ritz, I want to get a divorce. Zena, I promise you, 
No, I swear to you, I'll find a solution to my gambling problem. I'll pay what I owe Helena. Let's leave our problems in the past. You think it's about the gambling and the money. It was just the last straw. The last? Why? I'm sick and tired of your drinking problem. You are lazy, Ritz. You are irresponsible. You are weak. Do you understand what I'm telling you? What? It will never end with you. This problem will happen again and again. I'm afraid of forgiving you every time and waiting for the miracle to happen. That's it. Ryuri Vishnaki. I do not want to live with you anymore. What do you mean? Don't you love me anymore? Who then? Do you like somebody else? Tell me. Did you find someone? Oh my god, you don't get it, Ritz. How do I look? What do you think? You look incredible. Gorgeous. I can't believe that you were hiding all that beauty under the nun's clothes all this time. You were standing so close to me and I didn't even know. Didn't even imagine, you know? Ivan, stop. What are you doing? We talked about this already. We can't stay under one roof. It's wrong, Ivan. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's just that sometimes I forget how beautiful you are. <gasps> Stop it. Dad and I found some dresses for you. Will you try it on? Right. Wow, that looks beautiful on you. Yvonne, tell her. It's beautiful. Yes, but what do I know? I don't understand anything about fashion. Why don't you do your girly stuff? And I will go to Nadia's bedroom and kiss her goodnight. Please don't mind that man's comments. Sometimes he can be quite arrogant. But he is a good person. Of course. I know. It doesn't really bother me. I took every precaution so that nobody would get hurt. The hotel was almost empty. Once the fire started, everyone would be evacuated and attended to. All I wanted was the money from the hotel insurance. What about me? My baby and I could have died. You shouldn't have been in the hotel at that time in the first place. I just came home and nearly died. Aren't you listening? You're really dangerous. Really? I'm evil, is that it? But your murderous father is a saint, isn't he? And you? Have you also forgotten that you killed a person once upon a time? Mom, what my father and I did was not deliberate. My father blames himself every day for what he did. And I... I still get nightmares from that day. Nightmares? Well then, why don't you go to the police and plead guilty to your crime? Thank you, Mother, for not letting me forget that awful accident. I appreciate it, but we're not talking about me or my dad here. You were the one who tried to kill some people deliberately. You were willing to burn down our home. Now I understand my father completely and why he left you. Tell me why. All your life you were torturing him for the terrible thing he has done. But you were just covering up your own crimes and scandals. Mm, is that what you think? What would you have done? Since you're so smart, how would you save our hotel? I don't know. I would have tried to sell it or find some people to invest in it. <laughs> Why the hell are you laughing? You are so naive. Do you really think that would help us? Are you forgetting that the Vishnakis are breathing down our necks? No investor in their right mind would invest in a hotel, which is losing money. So you decided the best way for you is to blow up the hotel? I risked my own life to save yours, you ungrateful brat! The gas could have exploded at any time! Don't play the victim here! I know all of your tricks by now! Enough! I'm sick of all your lies! I don't believe anything you say anymore and I never will! Enjoying the drama so far? Show some love by hitting that like. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell to stay ahead of all the drama. Got a favorite moment? Drop it in the comments below. Now, let's get back to the action. Zena, tell me, are you seeing anyone? Of course I am. I was just talking to him on the phone. 
He wants to take me to Cyprus to get a tan, but I asked him to wait until I got a chance to get rid of you. Zina? Oh, then there's your alcoholic friend, Markovich. You know he's always ogling at me. Every time I pass him, he always tries to hold my knee. Zina, p please don't play with me. How dare you think that I might have somebody else? What else should I think? One moment we're doing great, and then the next moment you're asking me for a divorce? What did you say? Please tell me, when were we doing great? Okay. Tell me. What do you need me to do? Are you serious right now? I just need to be with a normal man who will take care of his family and be a responsible, loving husband and father. Well, how can I be a responsible husband if you keep controlling everything in this family? So it's my fault. Oh, you are just perfect. I'm asking if you have replaced me with someone else. I'm just telling you it's your fault, Ritz. It's because of you. Our family is suffering and is knee-deep in debts. Every morning I wake up asking, how many more problems am I supposed to face today because of your gambling and drinking? I want to divorce you. I won't change my mind. It's over. See, Zina. I have nothing else to say. How far is it? We're almost there, I think. Hang on. Who is it? Who's calling? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <sighs> How are you? I think I'm... I'm going to be sick. It's normal. You're in shock. It will pass. We have to hide the body, okay? Wake up. Let's bury it. Where is it? It was... here where... we found the dead body of Semen Rishuk. No one will search a grave twice. It's creepy enough. One more body. Great. You're a real genius. We'll bury her here. The ground is freshly dug. No one will notice a thing. We didn't bring shovels. Uh, um, I'll go look for the woods in the ranger's house. Stay there, I'll be back. Can I go with you? I'm afraid to stay here alone with a dead person. I'm happy for you. Your dream came true. You now have a big family. Katya. Katya. Is something bothering you? Yes, I do have a big family. But something is still missing. My kids, Taras, Lucia, and Maxim are not here. Tell me something. How are their step-parents? Do they like it there? What do you think? I just dropped them off there. I didn't see much, but I guess they're doing okay. They are not in an orphanage, so I'm sure they're loved. They have parents, maybe not real ones, but they do take care of them. You already found your mother and daughter, so be happy. So you think it's better this way? I think it might not be perfect, but it's normal at least. I've lost these kids once, whom I loved like my own flesh and blood. They were taken against their will from a loving home that cared for them. 
me, Asha, and the three of them were a real family. And then these kids, like blind kittens in a box, were suddenly taken away and given to other people. Yes, these people might be good, but they are still strangers. Do you think I'll ever forget that? Once I renew my parental rights on Adia, I'll fight until I get my kids back at any cost. I promise that I will not betray them. And I have no plans of doing that right now just because I found my real daughter. Katya, the last thing I want is to see you and the kids get hurt. If you want this, then so be it. Today I didn't lie to Lucia, that I love her. And also to the boys, I love them no less than I love Nadia. Yes, my heart is really broken and I'll never be able to forgive myself if I betray them. I really can't. How much longer? I'm almost done. Wait, I forgot. Let's bury her phone. We have to get away from here right now. Okay, let's switch places. We didn't bury her deep enough. What if someone finds it? Well, just like you said, after you guys dug up here and discovered the body of Simon Rishuk, they wouldn't dare come and search here again. I guarantee that. We don't have the luxury of time ugh, to prepare a better grave. Yes, it's a grave, all right. I killed a person. I will be caught in prison. I'll die in prison. Stop. That won't happen. Only we know what happened. No one else knows. Let it go and forget it. We will go back to the hotel now and act like nothing happened, okay? First, let's get rid of the evidence. So get yourself together, understand? May I talk to you for a moment? Yes, come in, please. I'm actually just about to take a short break right now. A break would be great. <sighs> Tell me, what can I do to help you in getting the children back? Honestly, to tell you the truth, I don't know. What I know is that I have to be officially married, have a stable job, and a reasonable amount of money in my bank account. I have nothing of those things. But I do have something even more important. I have my friends and family with me, like you. I guess I will have to manage it. Or well, at least do whatever is necessary. Are you sure no one will find it? Yes, I'm sure. So just relax. The mud covered it. It's over now. I don't think so, Valia. Quite the opposite. It's just the beginning. My life will never be the same. I'm a killer now. Serhi, please don't confuse things. You had to defend me. I'm your wife. You had no choice but to do it. You did it to protect me, remember? I'll be with you. We will go through this difficulty together. Don't worry, we'll be okay, I promise. We'll get some money from Risha and make our dreams for a better life come true. Helena was the only obstacle. And now that she's gone, we're free like birds. So let's just go back to the hotel, okay? Hi, Dad. Hi. It's very late. Did something happen to you? Please tell me, dear. I wanted to apologize for hurting you with the things I said. 
I shouldn't have told you all those stupid things. I'm sorry, Dad. You didn't deserve that from me. It's okay, darling. Don't worry. You were scared of the gas leak, so you told me how you felt at that time. I understand you. You had every right to say those things to me, but how are you right now? I'm okay. Good. I can feel that something's wrong. Why don't we meet? Do you want me to come? No need. Let me come to you instead. All right. I'll be waiting for you outside in 10 minutes. Bye. That's Laura's car. What about it? We should wait for her to leave. No, we shouldn't. The last thing we should do is to hide behind every shade. Because we'll look more suspicious. What we should do is act like nothing happened. Come. Do you have the keys with you? Yeah. Oh, well, good evening, my lovely neighbors. It's nice to see you getting along well. Good night, Victoria Leonidivna. Oh, Valya. Excuse me for asking, where's your friend? Which one? Do you have a lot of them? Halina, of course. I guess she forgot that she still works here and gets paid. I cannot find her. It's like she's buried under the ground. I haven't seen her all day. Uh, really? It doesn't sound like her. She left everything as it is. And just disappeared. I, I thought she was different. I know her as an irresponsible person who never sticks to a place. Today she works for you, tomorrow for someone else. I guess she finally realized that she won't gain anything here and just left. Mm-hmm, maybe so. Or maybe the two of you are kicking up a plan to get back at me. Victoria Leonidivna, I can swear that I have nothing to do with it. We will see. I'll find out anyway. She is very dangerous. She'll find out what we did. She's only bluffing. She won't find out anything. Once she realizes that... Alina is really gone, she'll be happy. She won't search for her, believe me. Laura, my dear. <laughs> Come here. Oh. Daddy, I'm so sorry. I was so mad when I found out that Asha is pregnant. It's just some childish jealousy. I understand. I was upset because you're having another baby. No worries. Will you still love me the same? I will love you forever, no matter what. You are my only Laura, my little baby girl. Beep. Hmm? You know, lately... I've been making a lot of mistakes in my life. And there's no one I can talk to about my problems and ask for help. And Mother only wants to talk about one thing. Money, money, money. I definitely feel that I'm doing everything wrong. What's really going on? Is this problem about Roman? And your engagement? That too. I had no choice but to stop everything and cancel the damn engagement. Right. Did Roman upset you? It's not about that. I've been lying to all of you all this time. Mother convinced me I love him. So I agreed to marry him. But to be honest with you, 
I don't. There's another man that I truly love. You're not supposed to drink. Sir, he, you'll get sick. What are you doing, huh? You'll feel bad. Well, it can't be worse than this. Who's there? Zen, it's me. I was waiting for you. I came a couple of times. Where were you? Is Valia with you? Oh, Valia. You're here. Come in, Dad. So did you guys make up already? Yes, we did, Father. That's good. Why are you here? Did Mother not let you sleep in the house? No, she didn't. Even worse, now she wants to get a divorce. You guys have been fighting all my life. What else is new? You always make up. Calm down, she won't divorce you. This time everything is serious. She won't even listen to me. What should I do? What should you do? That's a very good question, but I don't have an answer for you. My whole life is ruined too. I guess I have just stepped on the wrong path in my life. How can I fix everything if I can't fix my life? What are you talking about? What does this have to do with you? You didn't do anything bad, did you? Yes, I have, Father. Yes, I have. You know, I truly believe that Kostya loves me. Unfortunately, I'm engaged to Roman. No. A mistake of the heart can still be fixed. This is life anyway. You make a mistake, then you try to solve it. Everything will be okay in the end. That's just the way love works. If you really love Kostya, and Kostya really loves you, no force will be able to break you apart. I'm not sure, Dad. I left Kostya, you see. I got scared that he has no money and only a small flat. It's so small that you can't even put a baby crib anywhere there. That's not a problem. I can easily solve this problem before the baby's born. Don't forget that in the end, you still have a house that you own that has a lot of space to live in. Today I do. But tomorrow it can just explode. I can't raise my child under one roof together with my mother. Why would you compare it? The explosion of the hotel and your mother. Laura, tell me. I can see that you're hiding something from me. Why would you talk about your mother? Does she have something to do with the gas leak? Laura? Fine, she... She wanted to burn the hotel down. Son, you have nothing to do with your mother and I getting a divorce. I'm not talking about this that. This is all my fault. This is because of me, isn't it? Ever since I stepped foot in your tavern, the arguments have been more frequent. Also, I didn't try to stop you when you wanted to play poker. It's not about you. I was confused. There was no one who made me play. Confused by demons. Sir, he, honey. Why did you drink that much? Do you want to spoil your life like I did? Can you try to prop him up, please? I didn't want that to happen. I didn't mean it. Yes, yes, we understand you didn't want to get drunk. It wasn't deliberate. It's okay. Here, drink some water. You need to That's drink some enough. water. That's enough. Thanks very much for your help. He needs to get some sleep now.
Seri, Seri, Seri. Come on, Dad. You have to go out now. So okay, go ahead. Okay, I'll go. What's happening with him? What's going on? That's enough. I'll take care of him. It's my fault, sir. He... I made you do it. Sorry, my love. We'll be okay. We will get through this, and I'll find a solution to this problem. I promise to get us out of this. I promise to get us out of this. Huh. So, I was right all along. I knew she could have done it. Only she's capable of doing that. You could have died there. Me, my baby, and all the guests. Mom did it for the insurance money. This is too much. Beyond the limits of... Daddy. I'm sorry I listened to her and her advice. I'm sorry for not believing you. I'm sorry for hurting you. Oh, calm down, darling. It's not your fault that your mother does such things. I don't want you to come back to that house, okay? Never again. Let's go. I'll take you to Katya. And don't worry, she will accommodate you. I'm not going to go there. That's not a solution. It's a pity you talk about Katya. She's nice, come on. It's not just that. If I agree to come and live here, it will just add to the problems. I'll go back to the hotel. My house is there. Mom realized her mistake. I guess... Laura, what if... Dad, I think that she understands now she almost lost her daughter and grandchild. She won't do anything like it again. There's... nothing to be afraid of anymore. It's good that you think of your mother this way, but still... Father, don't. i better go. As you wish. Thank you for listening to me tonight. It's very important to me. Good night, Dad. You can call me anytime. Have a good night. Good night. Who was that? Laura. Laura, this late? Is everything all right? Her mother's gone crazy. She causes trouble not only to me, and you, Katya and her kids, and now, she did something that almost killed her daughter. Zena? Zena, it's me, let me in. What do you want? It's two in the morning. We have to talk about something. It's very important. If you came to ask me, no, I didn't change my mind about the divorce. No, it's not about that. Our son is in trouble. What's going on? He was fighting with Valia, and then he started drinking. I just saw him. He wasn't doing very well. We have to do something. What do you have in mind? I think you have to talk to him. I'm not really sure of what's happening, but it's all the hotel's fault. It's haunted. Since that he started living there, all the problems started. No wonder Ivan ran away from there and Katya the same. Laura almost died there. I felt that too. It's really haunted. Zina, let me ask you. 
Do you remember Theodora's curse? Well, I was playing in the tavern and won all the time. When I was in the hotel, I lost. Can you see the difference? In my winning and my losing? Something is behind it all. Everything, I'm telling you. There's a demon in the hotel. Did you go to check on him after we had our little talk? Yes, I did. Why? Did you tell him we were getting a divorce? I did. Then neither the hotel or Theodora's curse has anything to do with this situation. He was just feeling sorry about our divorce. But we all must learn to live with it now. I have known Victoria for a very long time, but she still manages to surprise me with her actions once in a while. She almost killed our pregnant daughter. This... This is sheer madness. That's it. She won't get away with this. No one else should ever suffer because of her cruelty. Ivan, what do you plan to do? I'm going to confront her. Don't do it. Let me go. I have to protect my daughter. And what about our daughter? Ivan, I know Victoria might be very dangerous. She might be cruel too. And she doesn't care if she hurts me or you. And even Katya or Nadia. But the one person she won't hurt is Laura. You're right. I haven't thought of that. Ivan, you are a very good man, but your temperable character has always gotten you into a lot of trouble, make you do things you later regret. I think it's time that you learn how to be patient and to think carefully before doing anything rash. Life in the monastery taught me a lot of things. The most important was patience. Don't you think I want to stop Victoria? from causing us all these problems? I do, but I do not let my anger do the talking. One should first calm down. You're right. You, and only you, can calm me down. Let's go inside. It's really late. He's not acting this way because of the divorce. How is he behaving? Is he sad? It's worse. The last couple of days he was acting weird, but the day was his worst. What do you mean by that, his worst? Is he getting into fights? No. Is he screaming, crying, banging on the walls? No. Is he in pain? I'm not sure. But he really seems like a little bit crazy, and then a little weak, like no energy. Okay, listen to me. I care a lot about my son, but as he said, he is a grown-up now. He told me many times not to interfere with his life choices, so I won't interfere. But we are his parents. We have to help him. He's got so many problems, and not only with Valia. Everyone can see it. Ritz, I've told you this before. I won't be the one who's going to ask him. If said he wants to come and talk to me, I'll give him advice. If not, then I won't. He chose when and whom he wants to marry. It pains my heart to hear that he is having fights with Valia. And now the drinking, but there's nothing I can do. So you're throwing Serhi away from your life too? Like what you're doing to me right now? How dare you say that to me? Have I told him to leave our house? He doesn't love me anymore. Ever since he left for the hotel, he hasn't come by. He phased me out of his life. I didn't do that. I don't say that. It's not like that. <sighs> Enough. Is that everything? Good night, then. Sina, where is your wedding ring? Did you lose it? It's in the garbage bin. Oh, it's not yet Serhi, who's going a little crazy now, apparently.
It's you too. Get out of my tavern right now. Take your shit and get out of here now. I'm going. You better. And don't you come back here, do you hear me? I do not want to see you ever again. Thank you very much. You are always welcome. I have to go to bed now. You get some sleep as well. Sophia. What? What are you doing? No, I can't stop myself. You have a girlfriend in the bedroom who is pregnant. What? Don't. If you won't stop, I'll leave this house. But why? Don't you have any feelings for me? Tell me you love me. <laughs> Let me go. Sophia. Where are you? Call me. Oh, finally. I was calling you, texting you, searching for you. I was worried. Oh, really? Laura, of course. I'm worried about my girl. Who do you think I am? Or maybe you're just worrying whether or not I told anyone about what you did. I told my dad about everything, Mom. How could you? Unbelievable. Dad has to know that it was you who almost burned down the hotel. He has every right to know. Listen to me. You can think whatever you like about your father, my love, but this is not his house and we are not his family. Mom, he's my dad. He is nobody. I have told you a hundred times that I didn't want to hurt you, but you betrayed me, my own daughter. You really don't care about anything but your own happiness and money. Okay, I know what to do now. I'll go ahead. Where are you going? We're not finished here. I'm going to bed, Mom. Where are they? They should be somewhere here. I know it's here. It's somewhere. I knew it. What happened? It was just a nightmare. No. Just look around. We're in our bed. Everything is okay. It's just a dream. But you're awake now. It wasn't just a dream. My life is starting to look like a nightmare. I'm leaving this hotel. Okay. But my love, what about the money? The land and golf club? I don't care. I don't want anything. I'm going home. Daddy! You finally came! <sighs> Hello, my dear. Hello. Where were you? Uh, nowhere. So did you go shopping? Is it for me? <sighs> it's for your mom. Really? Mm-hmm. What's in there? The bag is so small. It's a surprise. I can't say anything, okay? Neither will you. Deal? Secret. Secret. <sighs> so let me talk to your mom, okay? All right. The door is open. I'm not sleeping. Come in. Hello. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. How are you? I was thinking about what you told me about the kids and the board of trustees. I think there's a way. 
We can fix the problem. Are you serious? How? Katya, will you marry me? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and join the Amora family for all the drama and entertainment you love. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next episode.